Hello, I like share mod that I've made. Now, if you've ever played this game, and if you're anything like me, the first thing you do when you start a new character is to grind your crafting skills. Uh, one of these, of course, is alchemy, and one of the main aspects of alchemy is ingredient gathering, and ingredient gathering is tedious. And I've gotten sick of doing it by hand, so I thought I'd draw on the magical forces of magic and create something to assist with this. And to this end, I have created what I've decided to call Eye Harvest, which I will demonstrate now. Now, this is a alteration skill. Uh, this is a brand new character, so it has uh, nothing else. Anyway, I'm going to toggle on my log, you can see here. So the first time you cast a skill, it isn't actually going to do anything, uh, not immediately anyway. Uh, like so. so as you can see in the log, what it is doing right now, it is scanning all the things in the area, like the uh, this sort of thing, or insects or anything else uh, that happens to be around, and it's determining if those things produce ingredients. And if those things do produce ingredients, it is adding them to a... Uh, well, to its internal memory. Uh, Alright, it seems to have finished. It has found, uh, well, it has at least scanned 99 different base forms and added some number of them uh, to its memory. Anyway, the spell will work now. Uh, I will just cast it. Alright. So, this uh, creates, produces what I like to call Gitter Critters, because they are critters and they get things. Hog off the log. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna run around casting the spell. Because I think it's quite fun to watch. Oh, there's a slight audio glitch I notice. Uh, it seems to go away with time though. I don't know why. Oh. Turn on uh, turn on god mode so I don't have to worry about uh magicka. Well, anyway, this is a uh, brand new character, so my uh, skills are well, 15. And this means that this spell isn't very good right now. So I'm just going to buff those. Uh. There we go. And let me get the dual casting perk too. So this uh, spell, the range and the speed of the spell, uh, i.e. how quickly it recasts, uh, scales with your alchemy and your alteration skill, uh, more so your alteration skill. And the range and the speed are both increased when you dual cast, so this is uh, single casting, of course. And dual casting. Right now in this version, it logs uh, a lot of things that aren't actually important. Oh, we can just ignore that. Something you might notice that I haven't been able to fix is that when these uh, the Gitter Critters fly around or fly near to me, they have a tendency to... You're going to get bumped around a bit, but uh, you'll get used to it. I haven't been able to fix it. I don't think I can fix it, unfortunately. But, uh, you'll get over it. <laughs> So uh, when, when these things, when the Gitter Critters spawn, they, they snap to the nearest nav mesh. So as you saw there, they were spawning behind me, because apparently that rock over there, this thing, this guy, <laughs> there is no nav mesh to find there. That's okay.
I'm just going to teleport to some other cells that are... Uh, have lots of things to harvest. back on the log. So this is a new area, so there's probably going to be a whole lot of things to uh, scan. So might as well watch that process too. Let's see, I see it's learned about 50 things since the last time I uh, tested it. Maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe it learned it while we were in the loading screen. Oh wait, no, there it goes. You notice that the critters use a mixture of uh, AI pathfinding uh, using nav mesh and just direct translates uh, if they can't actually get to where they want to go. Let me tell you that getting the AI pathfinding part to work was very tricky. It involved uh, finding some extremely dangerous papyrus functions, which I do not use. Sorry. Probably harvested everything here since I haven't seen a critter spawn in a while. So this will go up and gather things that you couldn't normally reach, uh, like that boss up there. Are you going to learn anything? Uh, apparently. apparently not. Oh, actually, I just remembered uh, that the learning thing won't actually fire until the spell stops finding anything uh, for, for, for performance reasons. Uh, so when we see the learning part kick in, might take a while. There is a lot of harvest in Solitude. As you can see. <laughs> idea when we're going to run out of things to harvest. Hopefully now. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the learning thing kicking in. Okay, it's learned about uh, 40 more things.
looks like we probably harvested everything here. There we go, learning process is kicking in again. Yep, there's nothing else in this area. Well, like I said, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, I just think it's fun to watch the spell go. Uh, I think it works pretty well. It's a little bit quirky. Uh, you shouldn't need any compatibility patches. Uh, in fact, this has very little dependence on even the base game, uh, so it should work with any mod or DLC or anything else like that, uh, just out of the box. You probably don't need to know anything else uh, about the spell, about the mod. Uh, it should just work. That's the idea anyway. Oh, wow, what's going on with the log now? Anyway, uh, that's it. Enjoy!